Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Murder City of Gangsters. If you remember last time, and I was I sat here for about five minutes before I started recording trying to remember last time, we're trying to help Mr. Smith become mayor. So we're going to do his dirty deeds and like coerce voters. Um, first of all, though, somebody wanted a labor union. That's what I was over here. So we'll have uh, Doc set up a labor union. Well, I'm a bit rusty, but I'll do it. While we're at it, we definitely could use a lawyer. We're gonna start setting up one of those. A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. Uh, I think we did. We rob a bank last time. I think we might have. If you're watching it in order, you would know. Well, this looks like a little prison. Oh, it's a school. So it is a prison. It's a prison for children. It's got to be a real prison, isn't it? Yeah, because of the walls out. I mean, this is like a real, the worst school ever. It is a prison. I hope later on I can break into it. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. Let's see, what weapon? Oh, that's the dirty trench knife. I don't think I care about that. I could murder a drink. All right, so we got a lawyer. Can we upgrade him? Enforcers? All right. And we got our labor union. done right. Do it yourself. Oh, I'm, I'm backwards. That was the labor union. This is the uh, lawyer. We'll do stalling tactics. I'll probably forget to upgrade the rest. Whatever. Um, and we're kind of broke right now, but let's see. No, that guy wants charity events. Win over the neighborhood. Several labor leaders live in the area. Their votes will most likely decide the election. To win the ballot, you'll need to give them extra power. We did by putting in a labor union headquarters. So I'm going to go talk to them about it. But like, dude. No the boss. Dudes, dudes, and then I assume that'll make them vote for our guy, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith going to Washington. Let's see. We need a high feared rating. Uh, to do that, let's uh, put in a pizza point place because everybody fears pizza. Well, I'm a bit rusty, but I'll do it. All right. So we got three to the six. Where'd my music go? I need my jams. I need my strawberry jams. <laughs> Let's see. We need some more. Don't bore me with petty tasks. What? You don't... don't have to repeat that. I think she back talked me. Eventually, we got to do a bunch of charity events too. What does this guy want? Win the neighborhood over. The largely pop, largely populated by low educated workers. This neighborhood is ideal for pop, ideal for populist tactics. Apparently, I'm lowly educated too because I can't read. I must have done whatever they wanted to, so no we're gonna go to talk boss. to them and get their vote. Just landed. Um. I guess we'll put a counterfeiter in there. Where's the real action? Nice beeswax, eh, boss? Yeah, my beeswax is awesome. I'll stay out of it, Dick. <laughs> oh wait, what's he doing? I thought he was doing something that would make somebody happy. I forgot. Okay, charity events. I should remember this. I should write it down, but I'm not going to. Is this the guy? Yeah. You go talk to them, Doc. Well, I'm a bit rusty, but I'll do it. So we've got a counterfeiter. Uh, upgrade for better forgeries and better press. Should be making mad money soon. That's how it's done. Oh, we got the vote, der. So some charity events. Let's see what how much the charity events cost us. Five hundred charity money, Mr. Wolf. You go do that, cause I don't. Oh, we don't have enough money. Do we now? Yeah, you go do a charity On the event. Trail. You'd be like, I'm charity man. I can't do a wolf impression. Just pretend that never happened. That's what I tell people when I go on dates and it goes bad. You Just pretend it repeat. never happened. Shut up, Squigs. You ruined my moment. Those clowns were no match. Sweet, we just need one more area. I think they're the construction boys. This area is populated with workers in the cement and construction industries. If you generate jobs for them, they will vote for Smith. So we gotta buy some more of the construction areas. I got one of them. So we put a lawyer in. Alright, let's get this one. Big six on the job. Yeah. We have the money, we'll get that one. Let's put in some more joints. Uh, do we have a bookmaker yet? I don't know. 
I don't think so. Good enough. Bookmaker, please. Oui, mon ami. You get their construction hey, lot? No one bum rushes mama's little boy. You go start insurance company would be nice. Go start a flop house. Ain't gonna beef about that. Yeah, don't beef about that. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Do we have a boxing arena? Probably Ponzi scheme. We have a Ponzi Who scheme. Who calls for a doctor? It is what I do best. All right, you did a charity event. I didn't know that's what you did best. I thought you like said a bunch of words that made me angry. I thought that's what you did best. So let's find who else can we have a charity event with? Probably not with the crime lord. <laughs> hey, it's your friendly neighborhood crime lords. Charity event. Uh, go have a charity event with this city official. Nobody does things the way I do. Yeah, cause not everybody's stupid like you. Forcers, we won't break the odds. Wait, we. Oh, maybe we didn't have to get the votes of everybody. Maybe I'm going overboard. Because apparently there's two red spots yet for votes and. Work! Makes me thirsty. Yeah. I ain't no fish now. I don't still get that one. Let's upgrade. I wish they had the cheaper construction. Your bonus there is 20% uh, less for construction costs. That should be earlier on. Because, like, by the point we usually get it, we don't need to construct much. Somebody else have a charity event. I will. Got a lot of work to do. Like charity for begins in my hands. Give me your money. <laughs> they were like, "Oh, you're so noble." I'll be like, "Yes, I need your monies." Come on, Wolf, finish your charity event, butt munchies. Oh, there they are. It's a wicked ass street party, or it's really bad street fighting. I'm not sure which. <laughs> That guy tried to kick that one in the butt. Oh, and now she tried to kick him in the butt. Man, there's some butt action going on. I like that guy who's walking through. He's like, oh, these guys are weird. I'm like, it's for charity. My wage should reflect that. I'm not going to pay you more, Wolf. You already get paid more than anybody else, and you certainly don't deserve it. That was my heartwarming employer speech I just gave him. Because I'm a nice employer like that. So Mr. Smith should be glad when we help him win the election. Better be. I don't know. We should have had our own guy um, run. Oh, wait. we got to finish this charity event. So exciting. Can you feel the excitement? Uh... Look at how much money we're making. Eight grand a day? I want to make eight grand a day. Any of you guys want to give me eight grand a day? Come on, what's taking you so long with your charity event? He's like, I gotta do my street. They're doing it in an alley. Does that lady have like mega boobs? Can't get in any closer. Yeah, you guys all. I don't get. I want to know how the programmers decide this is how a charity event goes. One guy's gonna spaz out and the rest are gonna watch. That's how it's done. The Vito's gonna yell at me. All right, Doc, you go. Uh, Where's going to hell for? You go tell the, how the highbrow guys. We did their thing. Yay, Doc did it. What? Something is going on. The cops are all over town looking for something. Uh, they're looking for the Holy Grail. They're shaking up almost every crook in town. I'll snoop around to see what I can find. Yeah, good luck, Freddy. Don't get hit by any stray bullets. I'd really miss you. You won't believe it, boss. Someone attacked City Hall and stole the ballot box. Why didn't we do that? That's the way I'd want to. I guess someone doesn't want Mr. Smith to win. We should send out some boys to find out what really happened there. We should start the search behind Town Hall. Why don't we just make our own ballot box? If we're going to be crooked, let's be Chicago crooked. These private apartment blocks should serve as the starting position for our ballot search. Uh, Squeaks, you go do that. I'm uh, in a rush, boss. What are you in a... Okay. Be in a rush. You do that. Glad. I don't... I don't know. Hey, you get that. No, I'm gonna go... Doc, you go buy that. 
Where's Y'all... going to hell for? Uh, he's injured. I'm like, you can buy it and go start a clinic. Then you can be healed. He's like, okay. Where's my joint? Brigitte, you put something in there. What do you want? Uh, weapon store? Loan shark? Let's do a loan shark. Oui, mon ami. Oui, oui. Pee pee. Ho ho. La la. Maybe the prison will come into place. Maybe that's where the ballot box will be. Who knows? I took the jam out of their donut. Good for you, Jammy McGee. Another private apartment block that has no particular. Just go search I'm their in a rush, boss. Nobody knows where this fucking thing is. I uh, do a clinic. Where it's going to hell for? Yeah, it's oh. I'm gonna go sit in the park. I'm gonna sit in the park and have a drink and be like, la la la. Done, boss. An informant claiming to have some information lives in a nearby building. Wigs or Squigs, why'd you have to? Couldn't you just walk down the street here, Squigs? Pay with liquor? We don't have enough. Pay with cash? Twelve hundred. Fuck. I'm in a rush, boss. We're not very good gangsters. Come on, go in there, Squigs. Cut off their fingers and then be like, oh, can you tell me where the ballot box is? I guarantee they'll tell you something. Uh, I'll drink to that. Good, we got a clinic, and we'll upgrade it. Public, better doctors. We're gonna help out the neighborhood. That's how we is. Just landed. Okay, we got a loan shark. Cool. I took the jam out of their donut. Oh, yep. See, I told you the prison. I don't know how the prison would have happened, though, or how he's going to pay the... Let's see. It seems two convicts are freed on parole and ultimately stole the ballot box. We should use our connections in the prison to find out more. Send a man in or pay the warden. We'll pay the fucking warden. I will go do this myself. A real boss ain't afraid of grunt work. I mean, I don't want to send a guy inside like one man. If I did, I'd want to send big man in. Because I just want to watch him beat people with a baseball bat. But i just go in and be like, warden, what the fuck? There's a reason why I'm the boss. It's in the home of one of the convicts? It's right next to a fucking crime lord. Alright, let's go bust the shit hole boss up. Ain't afraid of grunt work. Not afraid of butt work. That's what he said. That's what I say on the toilet. My butt works! It'd be a shame if it didn't. Um, let's upgrade. Oh. The cops were waiting for us, boss. Our men walked into an ambush. I could deal with the cops later and leave one henchman in prison, but never leave a man behind. We're going to fight back. I learned that from Raising Arizona. Never leave a man behind. <laughs> but I love him so much. Um, Big man, you come go fight some cops. That seems like a good idea. That was good languages I used. You come so go fight some cops. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get my PhD in being smart from Harvard now. Cops trying to fuck us up. On it. Yeah, you go right here. And then I would like you to murder this guy. <laughs> you fuckhead. Come on, big man. It's just a bullet. Shake it off. Walk it off, man. Yeah, that's My it. My turn. Here come the critics. Here come the judge. I called my bat judge. Case closed. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch perfect, baby. <laughs> oh, man. That was awesome. I would run away, too, if I saw that. Hmm. All right, Tommy. McGun pants. I can't hit any of those guys? Shit. What about from there? Not exactly like I hoped. Oh man, they're just outside of range. Oh well, fuck it. Spray. Oh, I murdered the fuck out of that box though. Yeah, there we go. I probably will regret that I didn't take cover, but whatever. Don't be shooting, big man. Who you think you are? 
Yeah, Doc, you come up here and do it Doc style. Covers for pussies. Alright, can we shoot here and not hit our own guy? America! Now what are you gonna do, friend? Too much medicine! <laughs> you gonna die? Is it? I love how Doc just screams that too much medicine! Okay, Doc. Okay. <laughs> this must be the mayor. The current mayor is behind this because he's got all the cops helping him. Ready, boss. All right. Uh, uh, go here. I don't know. Do whatever you want, Dingleberry. I'm not your mom. Whoa! What was that? Hammer just flew away. <laughs> Look how far he threw it. <laughs> All right, uh, can we hit this guy? Yeah. Time to get a move on. Right there. Yeah. Man, these guys are all out in the middle of nowhere. Can I hit any of these guys? Not very well, apparently. Man, that was a hard hit. Fuck yeah. I'm cool. You are cool. Too cool for school. Let's rush them crashers. Yeah, you rush this crasher. Well, oops, I thought he was going to go next to him. America! Oh, right on! <laughs> oh man, I love it every time he does that. Aye? <clears throat> Alright, Doc, we're gonna have to get you like right up there or something. Sure, I should probably have him behind cover, but cover's for. Oh. Never mind. Give everyone a rousing speech about how you don't need cover. Ha <laughs> ha! I heard something explode. Probably was a grenade. Man, how many cops are there? I'm way better than you. I love that about the rifle, man. Murdered him from different zip code. Eh? Uh. Horse feathers. Yeah. Now I have to fix this. Time to get a move on. Fuck. Let's see, can I get there? I was hoping that Big Man was going to last just a little bit longer so I could have healed him, but so much for that. Yeah, that guy melted. Oh, goodness. Now I'm sad. I'm sad and unhappy. Fuck, did you shoot? No. Aye. Fuck him up, Doc. Whoa, quit doing that, camera. I click once and it flies away. Fly like a beagle, bark, bark, beak. Fuck you. <laughs> this one's terminal. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, suck the nuts. Squiggies? On it. All right. You can't see him. Can't see him. You can kind of see him. You can... Oh, definitely go after that guy up there. Yeah, man, he hits hard. All hell's breaking loose. Oh, quit, quit yelling, Doc. Hmm. Settle down, Doc. Doc gets too excited. Well, not gonna do that because I don't need to blow the shit out of Doc. I need a drink. Hmm. Can you get up there and hit the guy? Oh, fuck you. Oh, damn it, game. Really? He was right there. Ready, boss. Alright, can you hit... Yeah, I guess we'll have to go after that guy. We'll actually paint the area. In case he doesn't move. <laughs> nice hit. Alright, let's go. Do we have any... 
Holy crap, cool. Oh man, he's still alive? That guy's a... We're gonna use our surge. All hell's breaking loose! Man, 84, that's kick-ass. Doc, come on, you've seen... Oh, I forgot Doc's got low courage. I need a drink. Maybe that's why he screams all the time? Or maybe it's just because he's a lush and he needs attention? Fuck that guy up. Yeah! I love it when he shoots him. Give yourself a speech. <laughs> Good job, Doc. Time to get a move on. Uh, fuck. Fuck cover. Alright. Nothing personal. I don't... Did I kill the guy? Oh, I did. On it! Kick ass. You can finish him, Squigs. I think this is the last guy. <laughs> All hell's breaking loose! Yeah! Ah, oh, poor big man. That's the problem when you charge a gun with a bat. The ballot box should be home in the home of the other convict. Great. Fucking great. Absolutely great. I think I will take care of that in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody.